it's quiet in the house without him. So it's like we're reminded all day, every day that he's not here. Cameron Ray's stepmom, Krista Wigfall, remembers the past nine and a half years she's had with him, protecting her and his three younger sisters. Happy birthday to you. Ray would have turned 21 on Saturday. It was like um, ripping a Band-Aid off a sore all over again. To celebrate his life, his loved ones sang to him and sent his song to the clouds. Happy birthday, Cam! In March, Ray celebrated a friend's birthday at a Dallas bar. This surveillance footage shows a fight breakout between Ray's friends and another group. Watch this black SUV drive by Ray's group again, with people inside firing shots. Ray got shot and later died. Dallas police say Dallas Cowboys' Kelvin Joseph was in that SUV. Investigators questioned the cornerback, but he has not been charged or arrested in connection to the shooting. I just hope the Cowboys um, don't hold uh, Kelvin Joseph at a higher standard than the people that he was with. Yeah, he needs to be held accountable just about like everybody else in their vehicle was. Cameron Ray was a TVCC student healing from a knee injury. His stepmom says he could have been a professional athlete himself, but they'll never get to see him try. Two men were arrested in Ray's fatal shooting, 28-year-old Aries Jones and 21-year-old Tivion English. Both men drove into Dallas from Baton Rouge, turned themselves in, and confessed to the shooting. They now face a murder charge. Jones's bond was set at $250,000. English's bond has not been set yet. For CBS 19, I'm Shondell Manise.